Oh, it's played. I did that song. All right, I'll tell you. That's that story. Okay, it's true. The tugboat story is a true story. But uh, but it didn't uh, it didn't happen in Memphis. All right, I lied about that part. It was some dude that I knew in Chicago years ago. But it's a true story, and his name was Tugboat. I just put it in Memphis because Memphis is a more interesting city to me in terms of a, of a narrative, a narrative. Thing. Anyway, so I'm telling this story. We played in uh, New York City the other night, and I'm telling the story. I'm like halfway through the story. Well, Tugboat from Memphis. And this girl sitting right there goes, Oh my God, I grew up with Tugboat. I'm from Memphis. <laughs> She's like, You're in the middle of the story. I'm like, Oh, really? You are, you know, so. So maybe there is a Tugboat in Memphis. She claims to have grown up with her. I didn't have the heart to tell her. <laughs> but it is a true story. Please don't think that any of my stories are false. You know what I'm saying? They're all true. You got to be true. Tell you another story. <laughs> or funny. Um, I get to play this chord. Too. This story goes with this chord. All right, so check it out. I recently reunited with my childhood friends. Um, I grew up in Jersey. Anybody from Jersey? Go Yankees! No, kidding. Last exit. Last exit. <laughs> saying for the last days in four years. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that's not uh, part of the story. The story. So one of my childhood friends, we reunited, I hadn't talked to this uh, guy in like a long time, many, many years. So uh, he was back in the 90s when he was going to college. He, uh, he was a very prodigious um, sperm donor. <laughs> Signed up with some like fertility clinic, you know, two times a week, every week for two years. <laughs> that was his program. A lot of, a lot of sperm. Let's <laughs> just stop and think about all that sperm, all them sperms. <laughs> I was like, God damn. He was like, so yeah, he's like, I paid my way through college. And this sperm. And I was thinking, I donated, uh, I donated a lot of sperm in the 90s too. Um, but I just gave mine back to God. So, I didn't try to get any money for it. Anyway, let's not uh, focus on that. But that's not what this song is about. Um, no. Anyway, all right, sorry, I forgot the story. So Kev, my friend Kevin, uh, donated a whole mess of sperm at this, uh, and so fast forward to the present day, right? And the technology has evolved, social media, um, and I guess the laws are pretty big, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, so eight, Kids, he's got, he's got eight kids now that he, they that have come forward and identified themselves as, as his actual children. Because I guess you can do that. And, uh, and he was psyched, you know. He was couldn't have been more more thrilled because he didn't have uh, you know he didn't have a lot going on. He didn't have any kids, you know, the old fashioned way. So, so all of a sudden he's got eight kids. They're all like in college. They're like, we love you, Dad. You know. <laughs> My kids kept talking about his kids. My kids. It was psyched, man. You know, they're already grown up. They don't have to worry about this. And it's beautiful. I was like, that's amazing, man. I think he took them. He said, oh, yeah, I'm running an RV uh, last year. I took them all camping. <laughs> all of them just sitting around a campfire. Just getting to know each other. I mean, that's beautiful. It's, there's a lot of ways to have a family. Oh, another recent development to this story. Uh, his dad passed, and so he had to write the obituary for the, for his dad. And uh, and we asked him why why he didn't mention the kids. And I guess uh, dad wasn't accepting of the kids. <laughs> so they got a dad, but not a granddad. So I guess beggars can't be choosers, you guys. That's all you get. <laughs> anyway, I think the whole thing is beautiful to me that you 
you can just make a, you can make a family, you know, any old, any old way. So here's to that. But uh, that's all you have for that chair. That story we did is kind of interesting. But again, that's not what this song is about. God damn it. Times are have to say. While we're, uh, I'll tell you what it really, it really is about. While we were all hanging out with my childhood friends, reminiscing, you know, um, and we remembered how back when we were like 12 or 13, you know, we were starting to get our, uh, our changes, you know what I'm saying? Noisy drinking. <laughs> um, we used to do this thing. We were like in sixth grade, and we would sneak up on each other and, uh, and like, you know, like pretend to fuck each other. You know what I'm saying? We'd sneak up on each other and be like, hey, I'm fucking you. You know, it's like, uh, we did it ironically. We dry humped each other, is what I'm saying, but we did it, but we did it ironically. Uh, but we kept it going for a while. <laughs> It's like a secret handshake. <laughs> Sneak up on each other. I'm fucking you. Ah, you know. But you weren't expecting me to start fucking you. <laughs> it's kind of sweet, you know. So, all right. So, pictures. So there we are. This is so we're 12 or 13. You know, it's in the Jersey suburbs there. And uh, that's also when we started smoking weed, because all the older kids smoke weed, and we wanted to be like them, you know. So. So we're like smoking weed and doing whippets. Remember whippets? Yeah. God damn, I miss whippets. Whatever happened to whippets? What do you get whippets? Yeah. Um, so we're doing whippets and we're like, oh, all right. So, all right, so picture a bunch of 12, 13 year olds uh, stoned, like just fucking stoned out of their minds, dry humping each other uh, in a field somewhere, you know, I guess. And then, uh, and then off in the distance, Doobie Brothers are playing. You know what I'm saying? It's always like a car drives by and it's playing the Doobie Brothers. What song? That's not important. <laughs> All my childhood memories is always the Doobie Brothers are playing off in the distance. But anyway, that's what this song's about. So check it out. It goes like this. <gasps> Kind of imagine it on like an old cassette tape. Oh, the air between us seemed to come alive like fireflies behind our eyes. Shh. We didn't even need to speak. We didn't even need. Dark, gave off spark, trash fire in the park. Always on some, always on some, always on some legendary streak. Always on some legendary streak. And running barefoot through the snake filled grass. I never knew that you could move so fast. I felt your sweat on me as you brushed past. Always inside your fist. The secret stash. The secret stash.
me not seem to come alive like fireflies behind our eyes. We didn't even need to speak. Oh, we didn't even need to speak. Cause you truly were a rainbow in the dark. You gave off sparks, trash fire in the park. Always on some, always on some, always on some legendary street. Always on some legendary street. I'm running barefoot through the snake filled grass. I never knew that you could move so fast. I felt your sweat on me as you brushed back. Always inside your fist. Secret stash. The secret stash. Secret stash.